Falcon, utilizing the speed that Captain Falcon has and the frame data that he provides. So this is going to be a really interesting match, considering that Captain Falcon has quite a bit of a struggle to SDI out of Bayonetta's up B, specifically because of weight and uh, fall speed. Yes. So Kashmir really needs to look out for that. And already a difficult matchup is going to be amplified by playing one of, if not the best, uh, Bayonetta. In That's Salem. why we're seeing him play very cautiously in this matchup. And a jab opener. Oh! Doesn't get the last hit of uh, Witch Twist, which would have sent him farther out horizontally. That Nair barely clipping Kashmir. Oh, Salem's is having another stare contest back at Kashmir, saying, hey, you know, if you're not going to approach, neither will I. I mean, I can just force <laughs> the approach with bullets. Okay, goes for the back air. Saw that Kashmir was slipping out, but still wanted that damage. Oh, but manages to actually catch the Nair this time. Wow, great yeah, way to recover back <laughs> onto stage that side The high raptor move, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it seems like in this type of matchup, Kashmir wants to avoid recovering from way low. Oh, he ran right into the, the stiletto. He did on that platform at Salem, catching him barely. All right, so just a moment of silence. For the, the stock just lost by Kashmir. <laughs> the fighting continues. Music isn't very fitting. <laughs> <laughs> it never is. I, <laughs> I don't like Smash Bros. music, a lot of it, uh, because it's, it's odd. But the, the, oh my gosh. I thought he was the fireworks are nice, I'll say that. <laughs> we almost saw, saw pre-patched Bayo combos right there. Oh, OK. Yes, use both of these. Very both proud. Up <laughs> Taylor kind of laughing it off. Very <laughs> proud. Man, a game one victory would mean a lot to Kashmir here. And uh, if that error cost it, that's going to weigh even heavier on Salem's conscience. It is, and hopefully it doesn't obscure too much from his mentality within the set. Takes hey, the breakaway. And that's going... No, misses the up air. I'm sorry, that was actually a low, low percentage miss there from Salem. Oh! It could have made a difference within the stock. Oh my goodness. And I'm sure Salem would not be able to live with himself if he had gotten uh, that knee there. Yeah, that and down uh, air. as you were saying earlier, walking is broken. Walking is, is broken. If Kashmir was walking, he would not have caught that back air. Exactly. He would window. have been able to react to the power shield, actually, if he yep. had just been walking. Because shield would have come up faster than uh, from the dash. And Salem does love testing shields. So um, it, it's something you do want to watch out for, and you don't want to leave yourself wide open, especially that close. So we're going right back, same stage, quick choice. Salem up one game, Kashmir thinks that. Salem catching Kashmir in mid-jump there and was able oh. to capitalize. Oh my goodness, Salem, this feet. man was about to take away Kashmir from his family. Oh my goodness. I, all was the, all, all of this happened out of a jump. At yes. mid-jump from Kashmir at the very beginning of the match, that all cost him 90% there. Within 20 seconds. <laughs> Just almost the stock gone. And, uh, oh, actually, that worked out beautifully for Kashmir. Oh, my goodness. Completely messing up Salem down there. Interrupted his recovery, and he fell even farther. <laughs> Bayonetta can't really uh, do too much about that. It's so difficult for what it seems in this matchup, strictly because a lot of the combo starters for Captain Falcon require... Oh, Salem went for that last game. It didn't <laughs> work out, but <laughs> there, it's coming through. Wow, that looked like a perfect pivot up smash. Perfectly spaced. But as I mentioned, like, a lot of the combo starters that Captain Falcon has, Bayonetta could just upbeat. Yes. And I, I love Salem's use of uh, a fair one. Um, when, when Bayonetta came out, a lot of Bayos would start using dive kick, like afterburner kick, or angle downward to open up people. But fair is a much more respectable option, and you can do a lot more from it if it doesn't work. Oh! Bayonetta is exceptionally light. Try to go for a second one? Yeah, he was probably really trying savage. to catch Salem's up. Uh, oh, like, no tech, tech! But had but his he jump still, so back. he recovers. Oh my goodness, the ledge is there on Kicking Smash out Bell. at two. Oh, oh and misses the, the tech. tech again. 
quite unfortunate. I did mention last game how he wants to avoid trying to recover from so low, tries to save his jump because against Bayonetta, Bayonetta yes. has all the aerial tools to be able to keep you off that ledge. And uh, for a character with such a direct recovery, Salem's going into it to, to Kashmir, imparting some wisdom. And that's that's the sportsmanship I like to see. You, you play a set, and if you're open to it, because of course you, you might be walled off, you might be a little triggered, or I'm sorry. You know, what could but, I have done differently within that set? Yeah. What could have made the make it or break it situation there? Quick tips right after a match. Shout out to Salem.